Hi guys, I'm back with a new enthusiast for makeup. Lately, I have been so obsessed with cherries and how cute they look like on you. So I decided to create a makeup look that is inspired by the cherry designs in my clothes. If you want to know more, please keep on watching and if you like it, please click on the subscribe button. I have already prepped my skin with moisturizer and also did my brows in advance so let us go straight to the foundation. Because I've become a little lighter, I decided to put on first the NYX Total Drop Foundation in the shade Pale and I just put it, dab it with my hands and blend it with a brush. I'm going to put on another foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Ivory. And I'm just going to use my hand to blend. I like to mattify my canvas with a powder. This is from Maybelline New York Clear Smooth All-in-One in the shade Nude Beige. Now the exciting part, um, we're going straight to the eyes so we're using as usual the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and we'll start with the base, the shade. What we need to do is to cover all our crease area. And then use this yellowish shade at the inner part of our crease. And use this red shade, strong red shade at the 
outer part of our crease on both sides. and drag the color to create a wig with the eyeshadow. Now grab a clean brush and blend to erase the harsh light. So to intensify the look, we're going to grab a lip shimmer. This is pretty vulgar in the shade My Lips Are Sealed. We're just going to put it all over the center of our crease. It doesn't stop there. We are going to combine these two pink shade at the top of the lip shimmer that we just put in I still like the yellow color to show so using this brush we're just going to put it at the side of our eyeshadow so that it'll have a yellow to drag it to line my lower lash line next is eyeliner so this is my Etude House eyeliner and we're going to start at the middle so that you have little mistake or less mistake and then I'm just going to create a small wink the side at the end so don't worry if it is not perfect sometimes imperfections are beautiful if you have imperfections with your makeup or with your look I think that will make you stand out. And then I'm going again with the powder. So I'm just brushing off all the fallouts from the eyeshadow. This is my ultimate, ultimate favorite red lipstick. This is from ColourPop. And I forgot what shade is this, but it's, I think it's their number one red. And I'm just gonna add it with a brush to make small circles for the cherry. So remember, this is optional. If you don't want something that's too crazy, you can skip this and stick with the eyeshadow instead. So if you know me, you know that I don't easily get satisfied. So I added this red color to intensify my cherries. And then here's a white eyeliner to make the cherry shadow that you see on cherry drawings 
I don't know what it's called, but I just put it there. And then top it with a white eyeshadow. And for the stems of the cherries, we're going back with the eyeliner that we used on our eyes and just draw the stems. When I lock the product, I stick to it until it's almost gone. So this is my Look At Me um, eyeshadow or the single shadows that you have in a pink house and it's in the shade light pink. So that's what I always, always use on my blush. For this makeup look, I went with a drunk blush look and then I went with the white eyeliner to line my lower waterline for eyelashes I went with Maybelline Waterproof Mascara On a daily basis, I only use this lip balm with a tint on my lips. So today, I'm just going to use it for my face to moisturize my lips as well. And for the real lip color that we're going to use, this is the L'Oreal Paris in the shade Candy Man. This is very matte, but I like the consistency of it and like the formula because it's not at all drying. Lastly, I'm going to set it with a setting spray. This is the Mary Kay setting spray. I love, love, love it. And there you go. 
So if you like my cherry inspired look, um, tell me on the comment section and also tell me what kind of looks you want me to do next. Bye!